Okay, so the internet speed is really atrocious where I live. So I made this little handy receiver to get more, you know, internet speeds. Uh, and this should get all of the internet speeds, you know, for that really high definition porn. Okay, maybe it's getting a bit too much. But anyways, hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Watch or Not, a series where I take the first episode of an anime and decide based on it if I'm going to keep on watching the show or not. And today it's Centaur's hey, life. Uh, are you talking about Centaur's life? Dude, I just watched that. No! Damn. As the very first thing, we're greeted with a kiss. Wait, so is this show catering towards furries? Oh, oh no, no, no. Bestiality. Gotcha. Anyways, what is Centaur's life? Well, pretty much, it's a slice of life, but every student is replaced with a creature, either something real like bats, or something from a fantasy world, like a centaur. I think that it's a very cute show. It's not, you know, it may try and live up to what it, uh, its predecessor was, Monster Basume, but I think that they have their own thing going for it uh, when it comes to non etchy show stuff and uh, more just. Uh, uh, like, uh, cuteness, yeah? Cuteness. Well, fuck your cuteness. Okay, fine. They might be a little cute, but it's boring. The first half passed without anything actually happening. The second half did bring in some interesting elements by giving us a backstory of how this happened, why people are like they are, kind of even mocking our civilization right now because we have all differently than they. I was so bored out of my mind that I was grasping for any bit of interesting information that they could give. So when she finally told us that she could run 100 meters in 9 seconds, I actually got interested in it. Like, of course centaurs don't exist in our world, but horses do. So could that be realistically possible? Well, there may be some truth. I mean, uh, Olympic gold medalist, according to this article, uh, ran against a horse and actually lost. Why, though? Well, because he... <laughs> no, that was a rhetorical question. I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck me. Okay. This explains everything. This was done by Howliners. Those cheeky cunts. Now, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with them, because they have made some okay stuff, they have a lot of promise with them by making good animation, but 90% of their stories is just rubbish and boring. The only reason why I didn't realize this before was that usually, before every episode, they run their little Howliners logo animation, but here they didn't. Well, there's not much to say else. The episode itself consists of three parts, which aren't really relevant to each other. Firstly, the school play, then outside doing some sports, bonding with friends, and lastly, checking out their grades if they get to stay in the same school together. Okay, so the hardest part. Am I gonna give this a watch, or- <laughs> Can you fuck off? Am I gonna give this a watch, or a not? And I think I'm gonna go with not. And I'm gonna give it a watch. Okay, so why do you want to give it a watch? Well, I think for what it is, you have to look back into his root. It's a slice of life show with a unique, not so unique twist to it. So people who go into a show for slice of life and want nothing more are going to get more than what they asked for because it also has their own unique twist to it. Uh, for people who are wanting a really great show this season, are probably not going to see anything in that. So I would say out of the majority of the shit season, um, go and watch it if you just kind of want, um, this a slice of life, you know, I think that's, uh, that's all it really is existing for. It's not trying to be the best, it's not trying to be something amazing and unique, it's just a copy and paste of slice of life with some really monster aspects to it. And some of us just want that, that's all you want. Yeah, exactly, and that is also why I'm giving it the nod, because it's just pure mediocre. There isn't anything special to it, and if you're just in for another slice of life, then there are much better ones out there right now, even in our summer season. And the monsters aren't that special, since if you just replaced every character with a human counterpart, it would still be the same, there wouldn't be anything lost. They don't fully use the potential that the monsters have, like they did in Dragon Maid. It just seems like a normal slice of life anime with a comedy duo who might fall in love later on. I think you're right, I think if you slap monsters out of it, it'll just be an ordinary show, uh, Slice of Life, but for people who are wanting Slice of Life, uh, Slice of Life's gonna be here, and, uh, this show's gonna be a little bit above it, so people who are wanting that, comparatively, are gonna go to this, so that's a... Oh god, they're in. Look, okay, you gotta call for help. Look at substation CBS42. That's my station. My name is Dakota Broski. You need to send help right now. Ah! Ah! 
Okay, cool, so we agree. This show can go fuck itself. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I hope you enjoy- I'm going back to dial up from now on. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and a huge shout out to Dakota Broski for being in my video. He's such a lovely guy. I'm gonna give a word to him now. Hey guys, my name is Dakota Broski. Thank you, uh, Moonen, for letting me into this, uh, this uh, episode of Watch or Not. If you like my stuff, go ahead and over to my channel, Dakota Broski, at uh, Dakota Broski Anime TV, where I do reviews, parodies, and actually no reviews anymore. I just do topical videos. Sometimes I do a review. Whatever. I don't care. Anyways, my name is Dakota Broski. Just come join us. We're having fun here. Right? Right? Uh, I look forward to working with Moon in the future. Uh, we definitely have another video planned out for my channel, and it's going to be great, so... So, you can check his Guys. channel out down here, and his recent videos here. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget to beastiality to that like button.